When sending a work email, you want it to look as nice and professional as possible. Adding a signature to your email is one of those things that'll get your email closer to achieving that look. An email signature is this standard bit of text that'll always appear in the emails you send. Usually, it has a logo and sometimes links to various websites. Let me show you how to create one for yourself. Today, we're going to look at the web version of Outlook. Once in your inbox, go to the bar at the top of the screen and click on the settings icon. A new sidebar will appear. In the bottom of this sidebar, click on view all Outlook settings. A new pop-up window will appear where you can change many settings pertaining to Outlook. Go to the compose and reply tab that you can select from here. You'll immediately be greeted by a screen that lets you design your own email signature. In the Edit Signature Name field, insert the name you want to give to this signature. You'll be able to create more signatures and save them, which is why you're going to need to name it. In the field below the Naming field, you can start designing your own signature. You can start by typing your own name, your company's name, and your occupation. In the bar at the bottom of the field are several options to make your signature really stand out. You can add an image to the signature, like the logo of your company. You can change the font, the size of the text, make it bold, italic, or underlined. You can add links as well by selecting the text you want to turn into a link, selecting the link option down here, and by pasting the link in the web address text field. All of this is super useful. Below the editing field, you can select which signature to use for new messages and which signature to use for replies and forwards. Like we said before, you can create multiple signatures and you can do so by pressing new signature at the top. From here, you can create a signature for replies and forwards and then select the name of that signature in the default signatures section. Of course, you can also decide to use the same signature for both options. When you're done, remember to click Save. To see your new email signature, click on New Message at the top of the screen, and there you go. Your signature is already there. No need to add it yourself, it's been done for you. Now you know how to create your own email signature. Go ahead and try it out for yourself and impress your coworkers. Good luck.